Do you ever feel bloated, itchy or just off after you've eaten something? You are not alone. You may have a food intolerance or you may have an allergy, but they are not the same thing. One affects your gut, the other can shut down your body. I'm Dr. Sethi, a gastroenterologist and I'm here to break it all down. Let's start with intolerances. They are surprisingly common affecting up to 20% of people. This is not about your immune system. It is your digestive system struggling to handle certain ingredients. Symptoms can include gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, stomach cramps, nausea, even fatigue. You feel rough, but here is the key. It is not life-threatening. Here are some common culprits. Lactose intolerance. When your body doesn't produce enough lactase enzymes to digest the sugar in dairy. Histamine intolerance. Triggered by fermented or preserved foods when your body can't break histamine down properly. Non-celiac gluten sensitivity. When gluten causes symptoms in people who don't have celiac disease. These can make you uncomfortable but these are not going to shut your body down. Sulfites in wine and dried fruit may also cause issues, especially if you have asthma. Before we keep going, if this resonates with you, make sure to subscribe to the Healthline newsletter. Get expert gut health tips, easy recipes, and science-backed insights delivered straight to your inbox. Now, allergies. These are immune reactions, not digestive ones. We are talking IgE antibodies and histamine released right after you eat. Reactions might be mild. Hives, upset stomach, nausea, or something more serious like shortness of breath, wheezing, or dizziness. In extreme cases, you can experience anaphylaxis when your throat swells shut, blood pressure crashes, and you need emergency treatment immediately. Allergies are not super rare. In fact, about 8% of kids and 11% of adults in the US live with them. 90% of allergic responses come from just nine foods. Milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, peanuts, tree nuts, wheat, soy, and sesame. And that is why labels must be clear and why school lunch rooms often go peanut free. There is no cure, but here is what helps. For intolerances, stay away from the food that causes your symptoms or try enzyme supplements if your doctor recommends. For allergies, strict avoidance is essential. And if you are at risk for anaphylaxis, carry an EpiPen. If you are not sure where your symptoms come from, medical testing can help. Breath tests, blood tests, elimination diets, skin prick tests, or supervised food challenges. There are also non-IgE immune reactions. Less common, but still considered food allergies because they involve the immune system. These can cause gastrointestinal symptoms or skin issues like vomiting, bloating, or eczema. They are not usually life-threatening, but still important to address. Remember, your symptoms are real. You don't deserve embarrassment or judgment. You deserve answers. All right, let's log this in with some quick takeaways. One, food intolerances start in the gut. They can make you miserable, but they are not dangerous. Two, food allergies are immune reactions and they can be life-threatening. Three, just nine foods cause the vast majority of allergic reactions. Always check labels, always. Four, if you are not sure what is triggering you, don't guess, testing makes a difference. And five, the best way to manage these is to avoid your triggers. For allergies, that means being extra careful and carrying an EpiPen if you are at risk. If you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe for more gut health tips from Healthline. If you have a food reaction story, share it below. I read every comment. Thanks for watching.